Hey YouTube, Matt M. Roy back again. Just want to do a quick video for my subscribers that may have uh, Verizon FiOS like I do. Um, this is kind of an issue I've been finding with uh, certain boxes that they send out. Um, this one here just happens to be the, the DVR, which is in my room. This is one of the older Motorola boxes, the uh, silver colored ones. This one's model number, I don't know if you can read that or not. It's a DVR QIP 7216 R2, and it's the 500 gigabyte. So this actually has a 500 gigabyte hard drive inside. Um, I really like these boxes. Th these are definitely getting older. Um, I would say these boxes probably date from around 2004 to like 2007. Um, and we've, I've had this one now for about three or four years, and it really is excellent. I, I enjoy having the full-size clock there, because when I'm over here, I'd like to know what time it is. Um, other than that, they're very well built. I, I haven't really had any major issues with these. One of the boxes, uh, about a year after we got Fios, did have a uh, firmware issue, and we had to have it replaced. But that's really the only one we've had that I've had any issue with. And again, I just like the build quality of this. You can see that they really, really put a lot of thought and design into these. And I know these particular boxes are not only used by Fios. Um, I heard that I've seen Cox use these and also Charter, which are the two cable companies where we are. But that's not the issue I wanted to show you guys. The issue I'm having is with this box over here. This one here is a is a newer one this is actually the one that replaced the the one box that we had an issue with this is a motorola use my finger to get it to focus a little qip 7100 model z this one is not a uh, dvr this is just a regular receiver and i'm really upset with this because We've had some major issues with this box. Um, I haven't actually returned it yet, but when I first got it and plugged it in, I got absolutely no power whatsoever. Um, I thought, oh man, I'm going to have to return this box immediately. Well, I let it sit plugged in for about an hour, and then all of a sudden, pop, it turned on and started to activate itself. Um, ever since then, though, I'd say once every uh, one or two months, I have an issue where the box just goes blank. It just totally cuts out. And then I have to go ahead and unplug it, let it sit for about an hour or two, and plug it back in. Um, I can show you the back of this one. Here are some of the ports on it for the, those of you that are interested. To the left here is the actual Fios in. Next to that is the... Let me see if I can get the flashlight on here to... That is the remote input and a reserved one. I think that's just for uh, servicing by by any FiOS agents. Next to that is a 1394 FireWire port, which oddly enough is used to hook up an external FireWire uh, US, uh, USB or I'm sorry FireWire hard drive. Now, who actually has a FireWire hard drive these days? I mean, come on. <laughs> That's an RFN, like for a, a VCR or maybe an antenna. Over here you have your various in, inputs and outputs. This is for outputting sound to my uh, surround sound system. Um, over here you have the HDMI out. There you have Ethernet and uh, USB out. But oddly enough, that USB will not power an external hard drive, like if I wanted to use it for storage. The only one that can do that is this FireWire port. And again, who in the world has a FireWire hard drive these days? And then, of course, just the power port. So you get a good, good amount of ports on here, but you can also notice that the quality has gone way down. I mean, this is just, this is a little metal up here, but it right here at the edge is just cheap plastic. And one other thing this is missing is it doesn't have a clock. And I really do miss that because if you're sitting, if I'm lying in bed, which my bed is right here, and I'm in the middle of the night, say I'm laying down here, I want to know what time it is. And with the, the old box I had here, I was able to do that. 
So this is just a quick little uh, rant video about these Fios boxes. For, for any of you guys that have Verizon Fios um, and need a replacement box, try to get one of the older Motorola ones because they are much of, made of much better quality. Well, I hope this video was useful to some of you guys. Um, please like and subscribe, and have a blessed day, everyone.